Here's my nails cage. Here's my nail panther. Focus. And right there's the feeder that I built. Um, it's a copy of the one that you can find online, that you can find at the Chameleon uh, forums or on Chameleon Breeder. Um, I think his name is Nick, that uh, sells feeders, insects, and the feeders themselves. Um, I don't know if he has any for sale still. Uh, as you can see, the, the crickets can still climb around on the outside of it, but it does try to contain them a little bit. Um, and I will, this setup is completely lousy. I got some of the dragon strands, um, there it goes, um, the dragon strands, uh, ledges, and I will then connect it to that eventually. I'll, I'll drill a second hole for it, for that, or just connect it with a wire, because you do not really want to be doing what I'm doing right there without putting little tiny holes in the cage um, that you can kind of see right there so um, but it works so it does do a pretty decent job of containing them in there um, I would like to find a way of smoothing the surfaces in there a little bit better I could have made this thing taller so that they couldn't get out of that ledge but they still would have sat on there and still tried to jump out a little bit. So uh, it's not perfect, but it does its job for the most part. The fact that they're liking or trying to stay on it is is good for me. So that's that. Uh, I'm going to need to build one for my female. And if you do decide to build one of these at home, you are going to spend more money building this than you will buying it for $13. Because just the pipe alone, you'll spend like $6 getting... A couple feet of that and you'll spend you know those those sheets that I put in there you could get sheets of that for only like 69 cents but if you don't have those little uh, I don't know whatever you call those those craft pins they look like that um, you're gonna have to buy a thing of those the connector on the bottom of this I think just the stupid pieces four or five dollars so ABS pipe isn't cheap anymore um, and then to cut it, I use a Dremel, you might need a Sawzall or something like that. Um, and then you need a hot glue gun for the bottom of it. So you get, there's other ways of doing it, but generally you're going to spend $15 building the thing. So, and I think actually this pipe was, for a piece of it, was like $10 for two feet of it. So a big 10 footer of it is like 20 something bucks. Um, so I think like 25 bucks. So you're gonna have to build a few of them just to justify it. If you're gonna, if you're gonna build like five of these and have five cages, then yeah, it might be worth it. But generally, it would have been just easier and looked cleaner if I bought his, um, because he's got some kind of special saw to cut through the whole thing. I don't have a table saw or anything like that. So but that's that. And I'm trying to breed this guy with my female. Uh, my female's over in that corner. She hasn't been very receptive. That dark color, normally she's white. Um, and I don't think she has any eggs in her. She's never laid. She's about a year and a half old, I think, now. Um, but she's never been receptive. So if anybody's got any tips, I'd love to hear them. Um, but that's what I'm dealing with. Uh, her, her lines have gone a little bit pink at times but then they kind of veer off she hasn't really showed in the true colors that I'm looking for uh, that I see people posting so um, I've had bad luck trying to breed chameleons I've had builds in the past uh, a pair and my female was never receptive um, my males always seem to be pretty good uh, they definitely seem to be over dominant so in a way they almost scare the female um, I just haven't had very good luck with my first breeding pairs. This is, these are my two first Ambilobi Panthers, and all I've had before this were two fields. Um, but I do tend to feed them pretty good, um, and they seem to be plenty healthy. I've never had any health issues, so, of the four chameleons I've had so far. So, 
That is that. 